All right, Coach Seiko here off a huge duel loss. Yeah. Didn't go in your favor here against uh, the sales. So it seems like you guys are sporting a little bit of rivalry now. A little bit of rivalry. Again, Colin's one of my guys, coach him as a kid. So I mean, it's a good rivalry. I can never have like ill will to uh, one of my guys, but we're going to battle and we're going to beat him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, he got us today. I'm sure he's saying the same thing. There are a few places we could have picked up a point or two, and that would have been the difference. Came down, obviously, one point heavyweight match. So. Well, I, I got to tell you, man, just from where I sit, the high level wrestling that you see out of both teams, out of all these teams here, especially in Division One. I, I mean, the development of the sport. Can you speak to that at all? Have you seen it develop from way back in the day yeah. at this level of junior high to where it is now? Do you I mean, see a difference? It's definitely gotten uh, more developed because of clubs. I'm not, I'm not knocking schools at all, but clubs. Um, you tend to have a little more individual attention. You tend to travel more. You can get more matches in, expose your kids. My, my kids are battle um, ready. They, they've been in five, six different states this year, and then they come home and wrestle in Ohio, so they're prepared. So there's lots of clubs doing that now, and, and that's how you get these kids tough. So they're ready for not yes. only high school, but really they're looking ready for the next level. I mean, these kids are focused. They're ready to go. Obviously, it's all about having fun at the end of the day. Yeah, it's not having fun, but our, our main goal is college scholarships. You know, we want to get our kids to school. You know, St. Ed's has five kids wrestling in Ivy Leagues right now. We have another one in Stanford, another Oklahoma. That's, that's the real trophy, and, you know, it's fun winning here. And like I said, it's important to be relevant and you know, always be competing. I, I think we're showing people we're relevant. Uh, I would like to have that window. All right, who do you have next? You know, either Perry or Graham doesn't matter. Okay. We're rivaling with them too. So. so you got the the, the loser of the Perry Graham, right? Going for third, right? Third, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, great day today. Awesome to see you here, supporting the sport still after all these years, right? Yeah. And you have uh, a vested interest in these kids, I'm sure. Seven more years, I'm done. All right, only seven more yeah, years. Well, seven more. all right, counting down the days. It looks sounds no, like. No, no, I, I love it. But yeah, I have a really good young crew. Let like the young guys take over and coach. All right, well, congratulations for what it's worth. I know it's kind of bittersweet talking to you right after a loss, but, man, your kids look great. And, of course, future St. Ed's is still going to be a pipeline, going to be good. Not, not one of those kids gave up, and all of our eligible kids are going to St. Ed's. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, thanks, Coach. Anything else you got for us? Find what you built. Appreciate it. Thank you.